Hey everyone, so I received an email this morning from Bandcamp letting me know that they've got a brand new streaming service available for Bandcamp artists. So this service allows artists to live stream events such as live concerts or premiere videos and it also links in with the Bandcamp merch and album purchase functionality which I thought was pretty cool. So let's go in and have a look and see how we set up our first live stream. So just having a bit of a look here as on the page where you launch this live feature. So they've got a little bit of a preview there. Go live from grandma's couch. Mm, okay. So you're not sure how good the performance is going to be doing that. But you can see there's quite a few artists have loaded up a, a upcoming concert. So they must have jumped on really early because it was only sort of announced today. But you can see there quite a few on the front page there um, sort of when we click into each event, we can see some detail in there, what the date is, how much it costs. I can see they're charging $10 US to attend this one. It's got a bit of their uh, album releases underneath and the option to follow the artist. Uh, let's check this one out. So um, this one is in French, but um, by the looks of things. So I can see their RSVP. Not sure what the cost is on this one. Could be could be a free one. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, let's go check out old mate here, Nick McGuire. Okay, so you can see his concert schedule. He's got a bit of detail. It's eight dollars US. Um, I'm pretty sure some of these uh, concert tickets also include the album. And you can see there in the in the actual artist page, you can go in and click on any live streams. I'm wondering whether a live stream once it's been performed, you can access it at a later date. So we'll look here, um, quite a few coming up. Uh, so it looks like the system's already getting pretty crammed with live shows. So it's already uh, one day in, it looks pretty saturated. So um, I guess good luck getting found in amongst all this sort of stuff. So you can see heaps of different things. Some of the thumbnails probably aren't giving away too much on what the actual content of the event is. Just a I guess people are rushing to get them on there. I'm not sure. So you can see they're varying costs. Some are free. Uh, some include the album as part of the concert. So you can see um, some of the benefits. So you can definitely do it. Yep, no doubt about it. Effortless promotion. So followers get invited. Meet you at the merch table. So it looks like you can sort of add your merch details into the concert. So Everyone loves to buy a bit of merch at a concert. So you can see there, um, it's sort of inviting you to jump on and record your, get your first event going. So to get an event going, the first thing you want to do is head to your profile page here. And you can see on the landing page of your profile, up the top on, in the menu options, there's an add option. So you just want to go down to live stream there. So that should direct you to a page where you can set up your upcoming live stream. So you've got your stream title, so what you want your stream event to appear as in the actual uh, search or feed, I guess. Then you've got the date of the live performance. So I'm just going to pick uh, February 3rd here just to get a, uh, get a date just for demonstration purposes. I don't plan on actually doing this performance. And then you've got to pick your time zone. So I'm in... Australia, South Australia, and then you've got a choice here. Do you want it to be ticketed? How much do you want the ticket to be? Or do you want it to be a free event? And you can also put a little bit of information in there just to give people a bit of an insight into what the content of your stream actually is, whether it be a live performance or a listening party or whatever. Then underneath you've got the option here to add an image for the event. So you might have a, a poster or some kind of logo that you want to put in there. I'm just going to put a uh, token token image in there that I I don't plan to publish this event so it probably doesn't really matter and then you can sort of uh, scale and size the thumbnail I guess it would would be called so the image for the actual event you can sort of move that around a little bit and get it nice and centered and where you want it to be hit OK okay so it'll upload that image and then save and continue Oop, it's telling me that I need to plan it at least three days out, I think that's it. So basically you can't just plan an event straight away. I guess you need time for promotion and stuff like that. So when we move on to the next stage, we see uh, the options for the stream. Do we want live chat? Do we want a viewer count? 
and then we've got options for the merch table to select albums that we want to sell or be part of the live stream and then there's a few little tips here just the things you need to get it going so what it will do will take you to the very end and it will give you a stream key I've blurred this out because the stream key is not something you want people to to really see it's also giving you a server address there so these two bits of information are important because we're going to take that over to our streaming software which in this instance is uh, OBS Studio so I'm just going in here into the menu here and selecting uh, settings and then I'm going to go to the stream settings and I'm going to set a custom stream service now you can see there I've entered the server that was given to me from the Bandcamp page and just in there underneath is where you'll paste in your stream keys so once you've pasted in the stream key you can head on over to OBS and then hit start stream and what you'll see is on the Bandcamp page there a little refresh symbol which means it's identified that you've started streaming using that stream key stream key stream key and now it's sort of doing a little bit of a check just to sort of see what your settings are and your internet connection and all that sort of stuff so it's provided some recommendations down on the bottom right there and it's basically saying hey check on some tips below uh, to see how you can maximize the performance of your particular stream so once that's done you can hit publish and then I guess the live stream event will appear in the Bandcamp site ready for people to click onto and RSVP and then I guess uh, it's a matter of just making sure you rock up on time on the day and to do the performance so it'll be very interesting over the next few weeks to sort of see how this goes uh, it's only just launched today so going to be pretty interesting to see what sort of stream quality we get on here and uh, hopefully we'll see a few of you guys on the Bandcamp platform soon. Thanks.